Welcome to the continuation on the discussion on um, uh, partnership operations related to uh, interest on capital contribution contribution. So let uh, uh, before we proceed with interest, uh, let let me just uh, clarify this. Yung error dito sa dulo. The three over five share in the loss is greater than the two over five share in the loss of partner A. Kaya yung statement na hence, partner A has a greater advantage whether the partnership earns profit or incur loss. This is still correct. Ito ay dinilit ko kanina. This is still correct because ang, pinag, ang, sin, ang statement dito is the greater advantage. So kung ma, dahil mas maliit ang share ni A sa loss, therefore, nas, nasa, uh, it is advantageous for A. Kaya ganun yung statement niya. Okay, let's now proceed with the illustration on uh, interest on capital contributions. So, A and B's partnership agreement stipulates the following. One, annual salary allowance of 50,000 for A. And then, the interest of 10% on the weighted average capital balance of B. Pag weighted average capital balance, ibig sabihin, uh, tinitingnan mo kung gaano katagal outstanding yung capital uh, balance niya, yung mga, mga investments niya and withdrawals. Next, the partners share profits and losses on 60-40 ratio. Okay. Additional information, ang profit is 100,000 at binigyan ka ng uh, data on uh, B's capital account. So, meron siyang beginning balance, additional investments on several months. Then, meron din siyang withdrawal on July 31. So, may ending balance na 100 thousand for B. So the requirement is to compute for the respective shares of the partners A and B in the profit. Magkano profit? 100,000. Ang salary daw ni A, annual. So please be mindful of this lagi. Kasi baka sa board exam nakalagay monthly pero hindi mo napansin. So dapat annualize yun. Dapat naka-annualize. So normally kapag ganyan in question, annualize yan dapat. Pero kung monthly ang dinatanong dapat naka-monthly. So, dapat yung time period ay lagi mo rin chinecheck. So, annual salary, 50,000. Interest, 10%. Okay. Kay B yun. In, so, si B lang yung merong interest on capital contribution. So, profit and loss, 60-40. So, 50,000. Okay. So, before we proceed with the allocation, I think it is right for us to first compute for the weighted average capital balance of B para makuha natin yung interest. The weighted average balance, okay. So, ito yung balances nun. So, nilift ko lang dito. 60, 20, withdrawal, additional investment. Okay. Months outstanding, then the weighted average capital. So, yung balances, lifted lang yan dito. So, kung magkano yung nandyan? 60, 20, 40, 10, and then 30. Yun yung nandyan. Kapag withdrawal, naka-negative po. So, how do we look at how do we compute for or make a fraction of the weighted average, yung months outstanding divided by the total months in a year. So, since this is a beginning balance, so it is assumed that uh, it will, uh, it is outstanding for the whole year or yung 12-month period. So, 12 over 12. So, 60,000 times 12 over 12 is 60,000. So, for April 1 additional investment. So, yan ay outstanding from April hanggang December. So, bilangin mo April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That is 9 months divided by 12 because there are there are 12 months in a year. So, 20,000 times 9 over 12 is 15,000. For withdrawal naman, since it, this is a withdrawal, it should be a negative. So, negative 30,000 times 5 over 12. Bakit 5? Because... July 31 siya we need draw. So, ibig sabihin, uh, outstanding yan ng uh, August, September, October, November, December. So, 5 months. Dito naman sa September 30, September 30, end of the month na yan. So, September, October, November, December. So, 3 months. 3 over 12. Itong additional investment ng end of, of the month na to, December 31, Months outstanding, zero na yan dahil uh, tapos na yung, uh, kumbaga, at the, at the last day of the year na siya nag-invest. So, wala nang bearing yun. So, zero na yun. So, i-multiply mo lang po yung fraction doon sa balances 
Then, kapag na-compute mo na yung final figure dito, i-add mo lang. 60 plus 15 minus 12.5 plus 10 is your weighted average capital balance, 72,500. So, ito na ba yung sagot? Hindi pa po. Ito pa lang yung weighted average capital balance ni B na ang sabi dito ay 10%. Okay. Now, let us allocate. Ang i-allocate na amount ay 100,000. Ang allocation, salaries ni A, 50,000. Si B, wala siyang salaries. Interest on weighted average capital, na-compute natin 72,500 times. 10%. So, 7,250 ang interest ni B. Si A, wala siyang ganun. So, dahil wala sa stipulations yung interest ni A, so wala kang ibibigay sa kanya. Okay, allocation of the remaining profit. Magkano bang remaining profit? The 100,000 minus 50 minus 7,250 is 42,750. Ang sabi doon, yung remaining profit will be allocated 60-40 ratio. So, multiply mo lang. 42,750 times 60% kay A times 40% kay B. So, yun. As allocated, i-add mo lang 50,000 plus 25,650 is 75,654 A and then 24,354 B. So that is the answer on the requirement. Tama ba yun lang tinatanong? Compute for the respective shares. Yes, yun lang yung tinatanong. Ito yung final answer. Okay. Let us uh, proceed with illustration 3.1, interest on capital and bonus. So, i-complicate natin ng konti pa. A and B's partnership agreement stipulates the following. Monthly salary of 5,000 for A. So, please be mindful of this. Kaya siya nakabold. Monthly. Kanina, annual. So, ngayon, monthly. So, tingnan natin. 20% bonus to A based on profit before salary, interest, and bonus. So, bonus before bonus ito. 10% interest on the weighted average capital of B. Okay, weighted average capital only ni B, 10%. The partnership reported profit 30,000 net of salary, interest, and bonus. So, net na yung 30,000, okay? B's weighted average capital balance is 100,000. So, binigay na yung weighted average balance so hindi ka na magko-compute. Imamultiply mo na lang dun sa 10%. Okay, tingnan natin. Ano bang tinatanong? How much is the bonus of A? How much is the bonus of A? So, hindi, hindi yung shares ang tinatanong kung hindi yung bonus ni A. Ano ba ang um, bonus ni A? 20% daw yung bonus ni A. Saan nakabase? Sa profit before salary, interest, and bonus. Eh, ano ba yung binigay na profit? Profit net. Yun lang. Kung ang yan ay before, mumultiply mo na lang. However, dahil itong profit is net, so ibig sabihin, deducted na dito sa 30,000 lahat ng salary, interest, and bonus. So, let us work back first. Ang profit after salary, interest, and bonus ay 30,000 daw. So, i-add back mo lang yung annual salary. Ang annual salary ay 5,000 per month. So, multiply it to 12 months to get 60,000. Kanino bang salary yun? Salary ni A yun. 5,000 times 12. So, annual yan. Bakit, sir, in annual mo? Because the profit is annualized. So, dapat same time periods ka dyan. Interest on capital, 100K times 10%. Bakit 100K? Kasi po, yun na yung binigay sa yung weighted average capital balance. Ito, oh, multiply mo na lang sa 10%. Yan naman ay para kay B. Okay. So, profit, so, okay na tayo sa salary, okay na tayo sa interest. Pero, wala pa tayong computation related to bonus because this is a bonus before bonus scheme. So, i-add mo muna yan, 30 plus 60 plus 10, this is 100,000. This is your profit before salary and interest, pero after bonus kasi wala ka pang na-incorporate na bonus dyan. So, gamitin natin yung profit before salary, interest, but after bonus na yan. Ano ang bonus rate natin? Sabi dito ay 20%. Okay. 20%. So, i-divide mo yan by 100% less 20%. So, divide mo yan ng 80% para makuha mo yung profit before salary, interest, and bonus. So, 100,000 divided by 80%. 
125,000 ang iyong profit before salary, interest, and bonus. Multiply mo yan ngayon sa bonus rate mo na 20% dahil ito ay bonus before bonus 25,000. Yan. Sir, bakit po binawas yung bonus rate doon? Because ang figure mo dito is bonus, ay profit before salary and interest but after the bonus. Please take note of that. So, magkano ang bonus mo? 25,000. Okay. Anong tinatanong? The bonus of A is 25,000. Okay. Now, let's proceed with inter trip, illustration 3.2, interest on capital on partial year. Requirement, compute for the interest on the weighted average balance of B's capital. So, binigyan ka ng data related kay B capital. So, 80,000 initial investment, tas may additional investment dyan. Okay, let us look at this. Okay, the solutions. So, ito, nilif lang din doon. Same procedure. Ito, 10 over 12. Bakit 10 over 12? Because March 1, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That is 10 over 12. Same with July, September, and December. So, i-add mo lang yan, same procedure sa ginawa natin kanina. The interest is 6,417. Ano bang tinatanong dito? Interest on capital. May uh, partial year. Bakit siya tinawag na partial year? Because na form yung partnership on March 1, 20, X1. There are alternative solutions on how can you compute interest on capital for partial years, but I recommend you to stick on uh, the knowledge related to this. Pwede kasi divided by 10 yan. Tapos tsaka mo pa lang siya uh, i-divide lahat sa 12. But it is, I think, I suggest to you, you, you use this. This will arrive the same solution, but it would, uh, hindi ka makalilito, hindi ka pa iba-iba ng setup when you compute for this. You can refer to the book for some of the alternative solutions, but I prefer this one. Okay, I think I will be ending my discussion on uh, this. Please proceed to for the continuation on the next video related to interest on capital on, and other uh, complications kasi medyo mahaba pa yung discussion related to interest on capital contributions. Thank you.